This is the Floss Balsam, I guess, cousin tonight. Um, Carly is not feeling well, and we have put the video off. We didn't do we didn't do it this weekend because she wasn't feeling well, and we were gonna try and do it this afternoon when I got home from work, but she's still not feeling good. So I told her I was gonna go ahead and jump on here and get it done, and maybe when I show y'all my haul, I can get it put up because it's. Keep in mind, I did go to a retreat last weekend, and it was wonderful. We had such a good time. But anyway, this is episode number nine. It is July the 31st, 2023, but y'all probably won't get this until tomorrow uh, because our internet's really bad here. So, um, <clears throat> uh, I want to thank everybody that has liked subscribed, shared our page, shouted us out, and I'm sure that I'm going to miss some, and I'm so sorry. It has been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, like I said, I left for the retreat on Wednesday. I left work early and drove up to Huntsville and went out to eat with uh, Tammy and Candace Wednesday night. And then Thursday, the retreat started, and we had such a good time. Y'all, it was so fun. So fun. Um, got to meet a lot of amazing people. Um, and a lot of them I, I already knew from the last two retreats that we had up there. But it was a great time. Just a great time. A much-needed time to get away. So, um, I have been talking back and forth for several months with a lady, and her name is Tammy, and even though I'm mad at her right now, I'll tell y'all about that in a little bit. Y'all, I got to meet her. I met her. She came, she drove in on Wednesday also, and she went and ate with me and Candace, and it's like I've known her my whole life. It's, she's my sister from another mister. Seriously. I could not, I was a little leery about going to the retreat without Callie because that, this is something we've, we've done together for the last two years. And um, I'm not a driver. I don't like to drive. I drive to work because I have to. And Anytime we go anywhere, my husband is the one that always drives, but I drove to Huntsville by myself. I made it fine. I even drove the ladies around. We went and ate one night. We went to Patches and Stitches one night or one day, and I drove. Nobody died. So, but um, it, it, it was just amazing. But when I start in on my haul, I will... Um, tell y'all some more about the retreat. But uh, we have just, I have worked, and this past weekend, if y'all follow me on Instagram, I am at Stitch Spender, and I got this harebrained idea because I saw it on Facebook that a place in Summerton, which is on the other side of Jasper, had these fluff daddy chairs, these big chairs. And I called my husband and I was like, hey, what time are you coming home today? And he said, I, I don't know, it'll be after a while. And I said, well, they have a chair at TD's outlet and I want one. So I went, got up Saturday morning, took my Tahoe and had tires put on it and came home and started laundry. And then he came home and we ran to, uh, to Summerton and uh, got that chair, grabbed us something quick to eat for dinner, and came back home and got the chair put in. And then last night, he told me when we were getting ready for bed, he said, you worked me like a, what do you say, a pack mule yesterday because our freezer went out, one of our freezers went out, and he cleaned it out and moved it out, and then I, we had to move the chair in, and I did laundry because the last, I only do laundry on the weekends. I don't do laundry through the week. It's just me and him. So on the weekends, that's what I do as I 
catch my laundry up. Well, I wasn't here last weekend to catch laundry up, so I had two weeks worth of laundry to do. And so, anyway, got all that done. Tried to arrange my stitchy room, and if you can just, just, just look, just don't look too deep because it is a hot, hot mess. But anyway, I have put off putting all this stuff up because I want to share it with y'all and show y'all. And it's to the point it's driving me nuts, so I've got to get it done. But uh, let me, before we get too far in and I forget, um, I want to say a special thank you to Anna Williamson. She is the one who held the retreat at Huntsville. I think she is also the one that is over Sunshine State Stitchers. It's a group, it's a group out of Florida, but she is always over our retreat and she did not disappoint this year. It was, it was great. It was great. She had a lot of different things planned. Her and Carla LaPlante, um, they did a phenomenal job with our with our retreat so i want to say thank you to both of them so um what have i been stitching on y'all i've tried so very hard so very hard i wanted to show y'all a finish so bad but it just it, it just hasn't happened i've just got little t90 I hadn't even, this, I just got it out of the car because I took it to work today because my busy starts tomorrow. And uh, I'm almost finished. I've got a few stitches and then some back stitching. And this mother clucker will be done. Can y'all see that? My border's met up and I've got to do the hay, which is back stitching around the eggs and the baskets. And I've got to finish my basket handle, which is probably about four stitches. So I'm really hoping that I can get this finished today or tomorrow. But this is, I'll try to insert a picture because I know somebody had made a comment that they wish they could see the chart. And it is, Spring Chicken's Pen Keep by Stacy Nash. So there is the chart for that. But I'm really wanting, hoping, wanting to get this finished. Maybe tomorrow. And my fabric has made my few snouts. My fabric is thick and it has made my cue snaps loose, loosey goosey. So, you know, good times, good times. Um, and then I worked a little bit. I primarily only worked on that because I want it finished. I have worked a little bit on my Pam's survival sale. It's Pam with just keep stitching. It's the sale she started for her 30 years i think since her breast cancer diagnosis or 30 years that she I, I i'm not sure but i did a little bit on it let me get my board because the light's going right through it i did a little bit on it making a little bit of progress So there's that one that I worked on. And while we were at the retreat, Anna had asked that on Friday, everybody stitch either a, oh, I meant to tell y'all, this bag that I keep my spring chicken pin keep in, spring chickens pin keep in is from Gamal's Treasure. And I love this bag because I love animals. But this is the bag I keep it in. And this bag that I keep my Pam Survival Sale in is from Como Stitches. 
and that's a folder in there. And this is thanks to Miss Jane from Running With Scissors, Stitching With Jane and Julie. She, she got me on this one, on this little hack, and I really like it. I really like it. And Jane, if you're watching this, won't you check your DMs in on Instagram? I sent you a message yesterday, probably about five messages. But check, check that. But while we were at the retreat, they asked that on Friday, we either stitch a Little House Needleworks pattern or a Country Cottage Needleworks pattern. So I had this one. <clears throat> And I started Gather You Pumpkins because I am ready for fall weather. I don't know about y'all, but this heat's about to kill me. But I started this one. And I had all of the thread except for Vanilla Custard, a classic color works. And Candace went by the cross stitch peddler on her way up and picked up the one thread that I needed. And, um... She also picked me up a piece of fabric for it that Brenda Greer picked out. She was in there when I called um, Miss Marlene, and she picked out a fabric, and I don't—I think it's in my stash over here. But I decided that I had a piece that I really liked better, and it is. This is what I got done on it. At the retreat but it has a green modeling to it and I just loved it with that orange and the green that's gonna come from that pattern I think it's gonna be really pretty I'm anxious to get back started doing it but I'm using all the called for colors and let me see if I can find I bet I did not write that down or keep it in here. What color fabric that is. I didn't. I apologize. I'm sorry. And maybe I'll run across it because I think it is in some of my stuff. It may be in my travel bag. But um, this planner, pro this project bag came from Fab Shabby Rose. Miss Carolyn made this for me. And let me show you. I love it. Love it, love it. That's my, that my pattern came out of. But it's got zippers on both sides. Velcro's right up. And this is, I believe this is a Teresa Kogut fabric, if I'm not mistaken. And I very well could be. But um, we, uh, those are the only three that I have worked on this week. And no, I do not have a finish, but yes, I'm working on one. So y'all bear with me. We're gonna, we're gonna get a finish. And I got, this came in the mail today and I haven't even opened it. So I guess we'll do an unboxing. Y'all know I send my things to Starry Night Studios, and she sent me a picture the other day, and she said, I have them ready. I really don't want to send them back, and I was like, she said uh, something about, can I send you my, my list for stitching? I said, I'll stitch if you'll finish. I want to learn how to finish, but I'm scared. And I don't, I don't know why I'm so scared to do it. I, I just am. So, I, I'm going to try one day. I'm really going to try. But she had sent three back that I had sent to her. I'm hoping I've got another one to send to her this week. Sorry. Like I said, just... Oh, look how stinking cute. Oh, look at the little weenie dolls. It's on a flat fold. It's sweater weather. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm so ready for fall. I'm so ready to put my fall stuff out. 
And then I had centered this one. And it is eat, drink, and be scary. I'll try to put the patterns. And it's also in a flat fold. I love it. It turned out so good. I love that she used the candy corn fabric because that hat's kind of shaped like a candy corn. I love that. And then I have one mower. Oh, uh, yeah. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. And it's on a, a front, a stand, so it will sit up. It says fresh eggs. Isn't that cute with that red check fabric and that denim bow? Oh, I love it. I can't wait to put that out. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, I also got some other stuff in the mail. Oh, I've opened this. I'll go ahead and show y'all. I ordered these from Rocky Mountain Needle Minders. And this is a needle minder and it says Maker and it's a pair of scissors. And, you know, Callie has Boston's, and my daughter also has Boston's. I ordered that one. Look how cute that is. And I ordered this one. It's a hand holding a teacup. It says it's tea time, bitches. <laughs> and then this one is so me. It says, I am not a morning person. Amen. I am so not a morning person. But all of those came from uh, Rocky Mountain Needle Minders. And I'm not sure she has an Etsy shop, but she has a group, has a page on Facebook. So you can go there. And this came in the mail today. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, I was going to show y'all my shirt, too. This is one of the shirts that I got from Stitch Folk. And they are on Etsy. And y'all, they have some of the cutest shirts. But be sure that if you get this pattern or what, whatever's on the front of it, I think they've had some issues with people stealing their designs. So if you order one like this, just be sure that it's from them. Because I know they put a lot of hard work in it. I got some stickers for my planner from PH Doodling. I got a lighthouse sticker and then creat creativity is contagious and scissors, pin cushion, just a little. And the card on it says, thank you for supporting my small business. Your shirts should arrive soon from my fulfillment company. I ordered some shirts from her, but they haven't gotten here yet. But she has a shop on Etsy. All right, this came today. I haven't opened it yet. I'm just letting y'all be in on all the goodies today. I feel bad because Elbert's not here and but y'all, if you, once I get through, you'll completely understand why it was driving me crazy and I needed to get it done. Because it's a lot. And this is, uh, this is my very first monthly subscription from Roxy Floss Co. And it's for the month of August and it's the neutrals and the brights. And I have never used... I hope y'all can see that. I didn't turn the ring light on tonight because I was going to see if it would be, if it would look different if I didn't use it. But these are the brights and these are the neutrals. Look how pretty. I can't wait to try those out. Beautiful colors. Beautiful. 
All right, one more that I hadn't opened. I asked my husband when when I got came in, I said, I'm so glad to see you, baby. I said, I know you've missed me today. I said, and I had to hurry up and get home and see what I want. He said, well, you, you want something. Okay. Oh, this is more um, the Crafty Grimalkin. G-R-I-M-A-L-K-I-N. And it's just some more stickers for my book of days. A whole bunch of stickers. Oh, I can't wait to... Tomorrow starts a new month. And speaking of, Tammy pressured, peer pressured me. And y'all know I don't usually fold to peer pressure. She's as bad as I am. And us two together is not good. We're starting no by August since we completely missed the boat on no by July, Missy. But we're starting no by August. And I've got some stuff in my cart in the Etsy right now that I have put off pulling the trigger on today, but I know that I, I, I won't be able to do it for 31 days. So anyway, Sterling Ink Company. I ordered this half year planner and I'm gonna start it tomorrow. And there is some of the stickers that came with it. Y'all, this paper is like paper like Bible paper. You know what I mean? It's wonderful. So I, I can't wait to get started using this and I like the size of it that it can go in my purse or in my bag. And... <sighs> okay. So let's see. Fab Shabby Rose. I asked Miss Carolyn. I said, I told her, I said, I'm going to a retreat and I would like for you to make me a mat to go on the table. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you haven't given her a shot, please give her one because she does not disappoint. This is my mat for the table. I had so many compliments at the retreat and it unbuttons. And all the things button in it. This is a little orc container and it snaps up together. But it also snaps on the thing on the mat right there so it doesn't move. But then when you're through, you unsnap it and it snaps flat so it folds. Look at this. This, oops, my little pin cushion. Look how cute that is. Beautiful. I had so many compliments on this. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, I just give her all the praise because you just, hey, can you make this? Well, I can try. Yes, I can. Or she hasn't told me no yet. So, um, and then when you're through, it just snaps back up. Fits right down in my little sewing machine bag that I take to retreats. And my good friend, Tammy, or she used to be my good friend. She's not so good anymore. I asked her since I, since Callie wasn't going to be here, I thought it was going to be very awkward if I just sat here and talked to myself. And it is awkward. Like I need somebody to roll their eyes or something. So can I get a few eye rolls from y'all? But I asked Tammy, I said, if I FaceTime you, would you do it with me? No, no, no. I told her, I said, quit talking to me because I'm going to go cry now. And she did a, sent me a meme of somebody holding a box of Kleenexes like this. And I thought, you heifer. But anyway, Tammy bought, gave me this. Little pin cushion. And it came from Patches and Stitches. But it, isn't that pretty? I love little novelty things. I, I love anything. And then Miss Shelly Fry. She 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 made me do it. She had to post on her YouTube video from Gamma's Treasures, her daughter. Let me see if it's got her name on it. Um well 
Yes, it does. Sorry. It is AMS, A-M apostrophe A-S creations. I think I may have already showed y'all this. Did I show y'all this last time? If I did, sorry. I think I did. It's the wood and resin scissors and then the, um, thread ripper. I got, they were in my bag because I had took them to the retreat with me, but, um, Dawn is talented with her project bags and her daughter is talented with her things. So y'all go and check them out too. And while I was at the retreat, Miss Holly Ho, Holly Hogue, H-O-G-U-E, we nicknamed her Holly Ho. She came over there and she said, I have something for you. She said, I used to make jewelry and I just, and she gave everybody, she had a, a, a bowl and a little scoop and the little um, sheer drawstring bags. And she gave everybody at the retreat a scoop of beads in the little bag and that was their, their goodie from her. Well, y'all, look what she brought me. This sucker is heavy. And it is full of beads, all kinds of beads. I can't wait to make some things. I don't know what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make something, but it is heavy. So thank you so much, Holly. I cannot wait. I'm gonna make some scissor fobs and you know, all that good stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's dig in this bag down here because it's been, been, it's been put up for two weeks. Um, uh, I got this from Primrose Cottage, and it is the thread pack of, um, Color and Cotton for a Stitcher's Garden by Tiny Modern Modernist. And I want to get it started, but look at all those pretty colors. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Maybe we won't have an avalanche. Um, and then from one, two, three stitch, I ordered Rudolph's Reindeer Games. And it's by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I thought if I ever get in the Christmas spirit, maybe I can get that done. But the Christmas spirit is not looking like it's going anywhere around here because Y'all, it is hot, 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 hot. And I ordered two bags from, is it Buckleberry Quilts? Yep, I was right, Buckleberry Quilts. Look how pretty. Look at those bright colors. This is, an this is another Jane, Jane made me buy it. Oh, that's so pretty. And then this one. Look how pretty that is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. And, um... Carrie, Tiger Lily, I watched her video before I left, or maybe it was that the first night of the retreat, the, that Wednesday night when I was in my hotel room, and I saw where she uh, had did, when she did her video, she is doing Nightshade Bird. Well, guess what? So am I, Miss Tiger Lily. I ordered it, and I ordered the thread threads for it, and I also ordered the fabric, but I think it is going to be somewhere else over there. <clears throat> but I thought, that's, you know, I don't remember who it was. It was me and somebody talking at the retreat about how you, you see a pattern, or you may look, be looking online, you know, just scrolling, or even sometimes seeing them in an actual LNS, and you think, mm, I don't like that. 
and then you see somebody stitching it and you think, wow, that is so pretty. And that's exactly what I thought about this one. I don't think I would have looked twice at that, but to see her stitch it and the fabric that she chose, man, I just fell in love with it. So, you know me, I just rushed right out and bought it. And I was also able to snag my very first Tiger Lily when she did her sale last month. Look how pretty. Look at those beautiful, bright colors. Y'all. Oh, look how pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, Miss Carrie. Okay. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. And I ordered this one from that sweet, sweet Denise at Dot Dot Goose. Look how pretty. And I actually found out while we were gone, our retreat next year at Huntsville, the theme is strawberries and cream. So look guys, I'm already, I've already got my bag for next year, my project bag. But thank you, Denise. And also from Miss Dot Dot Goose, she sent me a Christmas Teresa Kogut bag. Thank you, Denise. Beautiful. She knows I love Teresa Kogut. And I don't I don't have many Christmas bags. But I got something to put in it. Thank you so much, Denise. Y'all go check her out on her YouTube. Her floss tube. And Gamma's Treasures. I was in Joann's not long ago, me and Alan, and I found this fabric, and if anybody knows me, I love me some paisley print, anything. Well, I found the fabric, and I thought, I don't know if that goes together or not. So, I just bought it, sent it to her. She did not disappoint. I picked this myself. Yes, she made it, but I picked it. Isn't it beautiful? It's purples and blues and... She made me a little thread bed. I love it, love it, love it. She did such a good job. And then I ordered this from Black Cat Stitchery. Oh, she sent me some floss drops and a bag of tea. Peach black tea. No, oh, you can't smell it. I love polka dots too, and I love cows. But I saw that print and I thought, oh, I gotta have one of those bags. Isn't it pretty? And she's the thread bed with it. Thank you, Tiffany. This is Black Cat Stitchery. We had also had a card. It says, hello ladies. I thought I better get these down to you while we are still in warm, mm, hot weather. As before, please keep what you'd like and give away the rest. Happy stitching, Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy. One of them is Eliza's Sewing Smalls. It's a little chart. And let me see if I can find the other. I'm digging from a bag down here, and I'm trying not to. Oh, here they are. Here they are. She sent some giveaways. I showed y'all one. I'm going to put the rest of these in the... Um, in our giveaway back here. So, 
that's when it when it gets time for video i just pull from it and whatever comes out is what comes out so okay let me see i told y'all i'm just digging 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 and i don't even know what goes with what and i'm so sorry if i miss anybody Okay, and that's what Kelly made for me last time. This is a sweet card from Carrie, Tiger Lily. I put it up on my wall back there. Um, I believe this one came in with that other stuff. Lord y'all, here is a vet bill that I have already paid in with my cross stitch stuff. There's another one. And I also got from Black Cat Stitchery some Mushroom Lagana 28 count. It's just a good color to me. So I have gotten that. And I also got from Tiger Lily the uh, project cards I got two packs of them. I actually thought to myself when I was driving home from work today, um, you need to get down there and get put in your, you need to get those project cards done. Carrie also sent me, says mini bling for your favorite things. Wishing you a happy day, stitching your heart away. Look how pretty. So pretty. Thank you, Carrie. And I have to try to keep what's Callie's and what's mine. Um, I try to keep it separated. And then we had another lady, Mindy McCartney. She sent us a pack of charts and things and I don't I apologize I've had these oh let's see if it even has a date on it since June since June and I don't think we've said thank you and I am truly sorry if you saw my vehicle you would understand why because it's not messy or anything, but I have a bag in my vehicle, and I'm bad to put stuff in it. As a matter of fact, these bills from the vet where I go in and buy Lovey's dog food, I've just put them back there in that bag when I put the dog food in the back seat. And I think this is what happened to your package, Mindy, and I, I apologize. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. She sent this pretty card with a nice note inside. She made the card. And it's gonna go up there with my other cards, but she sent a whole pack, let me cover up her address, a whole pack of charts to give away to y'all. So thank you so much, Mindy. And I apologize for that, it was all me. And my disorganization. Um, and then Miss Carolyn, God love her heart, she sent me back the rest of my fabric, which she could have kept it, you know, and made something else for somebody else. But bless her heart, she sent it back to me and she didn't have to. Um, let's see. I got a sweet card from... Kathy, I won't say her last name, but I got that sweet card from her, and it'll go up there with my cards, and let's see, and sweet, sweet Christy Green Daisy K Primitives sent Callie and I a beautiful false ring. It's got a flag on it. Look how pretty that is. She's so talented. I wish I could give her 
my house key and say, here, do with it what you please. Isn't that pretty? Thank you so much, Christy, and such a beautiful card. And then, I had another lady. Um, let me see if it has it on here. Well, it doesn't. Her name is Pam. She made me a card. And she says, thank you for being such a kind and generous person. I sent Miss Pam the chart courageous or courage because she, she lost her husband to cancer. So I, I purchased a chart and mailed it to her. And she said that <clears throat> um, she was a little intimidated, but she's excited to stitch it for her sweet husband. And she also sent me a needle minder for my collection. And it is purple. And I, if, as many of y'all know, it's the purple cancer ribbon. I'm doing my Pam Survival Sale Courage in purples for my mom. Um, she had dementia. So I'm doing that for her. And she also sent me a little key fob or a zipper pull, and it says courage on it. That is so, so sweet, and she did not have to do that at all because I, I wanted to send her that chart. Y'all, I have always said I might be a lot of things in this life, a lot of things, and most of them are not good. But the one thing that I am not is selfish. And I probably will never have anything. Lord, I'm going to get emotional. I think I'm missing Hilbert too much. But I won't, I don't want anybody to do without. I don't want anybody, I, I, I would, I, I would give you the shirt off my back even if it meant that I wouldn't have one. Sometimes that's not good. But I get such a blessing from it. And I can remember a time when people helped me, when people helped us. And I just love to know that I can do just a little bit to help somebody else. So thank you so much, Miss Pam. You did not have to do that. I, I, I wanted you to have that chart and um, I can't wait to see your progress on it. And then um, Miss Yolanda sent me, she sent me two. Um, I'm assuming one of them is for Callie. It says, Christy and Callie, I watched Floss Tube number seven and heard you mention wanting an all -time, Alzheimer's needle minder. My mother is an Alzheimer's dementia patient and is definitely, and it's definitely a long goodbye. I hope you enjoy these needle minders I found at Mad for Minders. Love your Floss Tube. I'm sorry, this is not, this is Connie. She sent me those, or Callie and I. Aren't they beautiful? Mm. Oh, I miss my mama. I miss her so much. Some days it's unbearable. I'm gonna stick this back in here for Callie. Have to try to keep her stuff boxed up and then we had a card um, from a lady that won one of our charts and she just sent us a thank you card look how pretty that is it'll go up there with my goodies too well nothing's failed yet guys so I think we're doing okay 
we had a freebie table at the um, cross stitch retreat and I think I got a couple patterns off of it, but Lorelai, you know, I told y'all she is wanting to learn how to cross stitch and I saw these two and it had the fabric or it has the um, paper and the beads and everything. So I got these two off the freebie table for her. I thought she may want to do those. This one is Val Stuff Funny Bunnies. And this one is Val Stuff You Are My Sunshine. So I thought she would like those, those two. Oops, Lord, I just, okay, I spoke too soon. And then that sweet down at Gamma's Treasures sent Callie and I some bags. Oh, look how pretty these are. These are the longer bags. Look how pretty those are. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much, Dawn, and this one. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Y'all check her out for sure. And she ships from Canada, and I'm telling you, she must have the end with the postal service because her stuff comes so fast. But y'all check her out at Gamma's Treasures on Etsy. Oh, let's see, let's see. I ordered these from Fat Quarter Shop. It's This Happy Morning by Plum Street Samplers. I love that red barn, and I got all the threads for it. It's, uh... DMC, Wheat's Dye Work, and Classic Color Works. And then I also got Cardinal Ken by Plum Street Samplers and got all of the called for, thread, called for threads for them. I will link those below this video, um, a link to Fat Quarter Shop. We started the um, share program, so anything that we we promote that we buy through Fat Quarter Shop. If y'all will click that link and purchase from there also, um, it will help us on revenue and we use that revenue for postage. I have a story to tell y'all about that in just a little while when I do our giveaways for next time. But um, every little bit helps and you, you know me, I'm gonna spend anyway, so might as well get a little something back. Um, and then I ordered from Teresa Cogit for you. Isn't that cute? Gosh, that's so cute. I want to say, who was it? Is it Emma? I can't remember right now. Somebody that has a floss tube. It's the mother-daughter. Christy. Let me see if I wrote it down. I probably didn't. I didn't write it down. Or if I did, it's on another piece of paper somewhere else. But anyway, um, is it Mary Kay and Emma? Why did that, but that doesn't sound right. Or is it Emma K and, oh, anyway. If I can find, if, I, I, but I think that the mom was doing this one and I thought, oh my word, how cute. So I got that one from Teresa Kogut's Etsy shop. And, oh, um, <clears throat> Gamma's Treasure, Miss Carolyn, sent me this project bag. Thank you so much. Oh, I love it. I love the colors. Well, then also, 
which I don't care. Miss Carrie at Tiger Lily. It's the same fabric, but I don't care because I love both of them and I'm going to use both of them. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And I had ordered this off Amazon. I actually gave one to Tammy. Um, in my gift to her for the, at the retreat, and it's the I Love Floss Tube Notebook. Who was it that told about these on their floss tube? Was it Brenda and Laura? Hmm, I don't remember, but I ordered one off of Amazon. I, I'll link these below. Also, neat, neat, neat to have. All right. Oh, I think my fabric, let me see if that fabric's in here or that at least the, nope, it's not. I thought it was. I know I'm going to come across it sometime. I got my Week Style Works um, Floss Frenzy from Fat Quarter Shop for this month. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, this is this is the real deal of how to build your stash because you get six skeins every month, and I'm 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 glad that they are about over with the bees. I got two C's on Wheat Style Works, so they're starting in the C's, but my bee hanger is just about full of the overdyed, so it is a fantastic way to build your stash for little or nothing. I got Bullfrog, Busy Lizzie, Butterbean, Buttercup, Cadet, and Camellia. So that is my week style works. And this is my Grace Note fabric of the month. Nope, this one. It's peaches and cream. Look how pretty that is. And this is 32 count linen, peaches and cream. And this is the um, one that I ordered to do that night bird in, and it is Swiss Mocha 28 count Lugana. And I ordered it from Grace Notes Fabric. She sent me some tea and a sticker. So I can't wait to get that started. I think I'm gonna do mine faster than Carrie does hers. And while we were at the retreat, a lot of this is not my fault. Tammy, and FYI, y'all, I love her to pieces. As I said, she is a sister from another mister. Y'all, that heifer, can ask more questions than anybody I've ever met in my life. She will saddle up to somebody and be like, what's the best part of your day? When did you start stitching? She will know more about you in 10 minutes than you know about yourself. So I have named her in my phone, Walter Cronkite, because she can interview somebody like nobody's business. So we've all been calling her Walter. Y'all, we have been so tickled about that. She said her husband got plum tickled that I have her as Walter Cronkite in my phone. But anyway, we're sitting at the retreat that day, one day, and she leans over with her phone and she's like, I'm like, what? And she said, Color and Cotton's got a grab bag sale. I said, do what? And she said, a grab bag sale. You could get 10 skeins. Let me see if my receipt's still in here. You could get, it's a color and cotton. It's five skeins of thread for, I want to say $6. Well, you know Christy. Well, that, that was just too good of a deal for me.
Ten of them suckers. Ten of them. But I'm building my stash. When the apocalypse hits and y'all can't find no thread, don't be coming over here on Pat and Luke wanting to borrow any of mine because I'll be like, I told you so. I told you so. Yeah, and the one person I want to tell that to, this lady just gnawed my rear end out good at the retreat because I made her buy Kohana scissors. And she loves them. <laughs> Miss Carol, when the apocalypse hits and you need some thread, don't you come to my house looking for no thread. I'm kidding. I would share my thread with you. But anyway, while we were at the retreat, Holly Ho said, we were talking and she said, did you know that um, you can order your Kohana scissors from Japan, like straight from Japan, and they're a lot cheaper. And I was like, well, yeah, I did, but I, I wasn't sure. And she said, well, I ordered me some, I think she had snips. She said, and they came within like a week. And I was thinking, well, okay, you know. At this time, I really didn't know Holly Ho that, that well. Well, lo and behold, I want to say it was either, it had to have been Thursday night or Friday night. After I went up to my room, you know, I was laying there and, you know, I, I didn't even cut the TV on in my room the whole time I was there because I just went up there to go to bed and got up, got ready and, and left again. Well, I got on their website. Sure enough. Sure enough. And I'd be daggum, I left a pair of them upstairs. I got the brownish burgundy color pair from Japan. I got the red ones. Oh, Y'all, if you've ever cut with a pair, it's amazing. It's like flipping butter, just pure friggin' butter, just smooth. And I also got a pair of the snips. Y'all, I got all, I got two pair of scissors and the snips for a little within $75 more than what I paid for one pair. So, Alan said, well, baby, I guess the good thing is you've got all the colors now. Well, then I had to break in the bad news that every, I think Miss Carol told me, or somebody else told me, and maybe I told Miss Carol, that in the fall and the spring, they come out with new colors, but I know where to get mine now. So, and y'all, I got plum tickled. They, they came yesterday. No. No, they came Friday. So within one week, they came from Japan. Sure did. Well, when I opened my box, this was in there. They sent me a fan. I said, Alan, they sent this fan to you. And he said, do what? I said, they sent this fan. So when you pass out in the floor, cause I got three pair of scissors i can fan you back awake y'all we laughed about that we got so tickled but isn't that pretty so pretty i said i didn't pay for that he said oh you you paid for it <laughs> you paid for it he's such a butt anyway um and then I had a dear friend that actually got us to start the Pass the Stash. I'm going to turn them around backwards so y'all can't see them. Candace gave me some patterns at the retreat to put in our stash. And Tammy 
posted it on the Facebook D stash group before I ever even met her that she had some fabric to sell and you know me, I just bought it. So I got that from her while I was at the retreat. She even put it in this nice little zipper bag. I was gonna give it back to her, but I'm not now. Sure not. Oh, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. And at, at our retreat, we had um, an exchange and you had to, you had to wrap five or six items. The first one was the charge, had to wrap it and number it one. Two was either the browns or browns and yellows at least of the threads, or you could do it all, all the threads for the chart. And you had to wrap it up, number it number two. Number three was, um, uh, a notion, maybe. You had to wrap it and label it number three. Number four was some type of goodie, maybe. Um, you had to wrap it, number it four. Anyway, the point was then you wrapped it all together. And then um, everybody opened their number one together. and every, So it didn't waste a lot of time with everybody getting a gift and then opening it. We just all opened them at the same time. Well, little did I know when I picked this box that my sweet friend, Greta, and y'all, bless her heart, she was at the retreat this weekend, and her mama passed away Sunday, but she had already made it home Saturday, and she had seen her mama, but y'all, please pray for her. Bless her heart. She is the sweetest, sweetest person, but this is the box that she gave. It has honey lemon lollipops in it. And this was my chart, the blue flower sleeping bee. And then the threads for it. And she even gave me the fabric. How pretty is that? Shrekie tan, 32 count. And then in my little Notions pouch. It's got those beautiful counting pens. It has a little B10. Oops. But all that was in my little in my little box from Greta. I love that and I love this plaid box. I can reuse it. So thank you, Greta. I was so tickled that I got it. Oh boy. Okay, Miss Kay, that I always talk about on here, her daughters went, brought her to the retreat and they went and just loafed around while we were at the retreat, but they went to an estate sale and went to some picker places and they brought these back. And I bought four of them from them, so I'm going to do something with them. And I really don't know what they are other than just spools, just wood, old wooden spools. But I got four of those that I'm going to um, do something with. Okay, guys. I told y'all it was a lot. And then sweet Brenda Greer gave me a bag while we were there. Isn't that pretty? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I don't, I don't ever need to buy another pocket bag. Brenda also picked out um, this fabric. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. That fabric from... Um, that I'm doing my Gather You Pumpkins is Stony Creek Spring Meadow 28 count 
fabric. There's my bag. I knew I had it somewhere. And Brenda picked this out for that pattern. But I just like the modeling on the other one. But I'm going to use this. I got, she picked it out. She was in the Cross Stitch Peddler um, when I called. And she picked it out. And uh, Candace went by and picked it up for me. And uh, so stick a little pin on that so I can remember, so I won't forget. And I got these from Brenda. Well, now they're all gonna wanna stick together. What? Well, yep, yeah, they are. She had a booth set up and it was needle minders and um, bags and uh, Cuse Grime Guards. Look at that one. Oh, y'all, I have had such a hard time not using any of these because I want to wait and show y'all, and I'm afraid if I get it out and use it, um, that I won't, that I'll forget about it. And I got these from her, and it says, one says walk by faith and the other one says fur mama. She has a Facebook page. Brenda's Minders and More, I think. And then I got a little cactus and cat mom. Okay. And for our, we also did a floss exchange and you just had to buy six, I think it was six skeins of thread. And look at the thread I got in the floss exchange. They're all classic color works. The lady that I got um, this from is Miss Diane Obelman. She said, honey, you just let me know if any of those are not full skeins. I think she said she may have forgotten about the exchange until it was too late for her to go. I said, it doesn't matter to me, honey. It does not matter at all if, if, if something's been snipped off of one of them. But I got all those. So that was a, that was a neat exchange. And it came in this little polka dotted bag with the purple in the middle. And um, Laura Banks was at our table. She gave us these cute little bee cups wrapped up like this. Look how cute those are. Look at those bee floss drops. Thread wax with a B on it. And honeysuckle weeks. And one of the little that you do the cross stitch on. And she even sent us, she sent it in the whole group, but she sent us charts. I think two separate charts that she had charted herself. And, um, that you can actually stitch on those little things. So I thought that was real neat. She's so very talented. And Tammy gave us these. Look how cute those are. A little finishing board. And a another little small that you can stitch on. And a highlighter, or I know it's just a pen just a pen and she also gave us these books. If y'all never saw those, saw these, I'll link these in the Amazon shop. It's called My Stitching Friends. And I'm not gonna show you what anybody wrote because I don't know that they would want their, um, no, I ought to show, show y'all what Tammy wrote so everybody would have her address. Everybody could send her some ugly mail for ditching me tonight. But this is what it looks like on the inside. And you get the people at the retreat, your table mates, or even if it's a small retreat like ours, you just pass it around the room and let them fill it out. And y'all, I had the best time when I got home sitting and reading these. 
what people wrote. It says, you know, ask for their name, their social media handle, their mailing address, <clears throat> their email, their YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, streaming, website, blog, birthday, how we met, favorite stitching things, and fun friend fact. So it is so fun. And like one of the girls, I'm not going to tell you her name, but she says she's a sign language interpreter. How fun is that? And um, just, I mean, just, it's just so fun to see it and read it. And to see everybody's handwriting, I, I, I am, I love handwriting. I love to see people's handwriting. And uh, I, I, I just love it. But that this is such a nice gift. But that came from Tammy. And then... There's another... Needle minder. Oh, my nose is itching. Ooh. Somebody wants a date with me. Y'all, I met a sweet, sweet lady. She sat behind us at the other table. I think my camera's falling. Maybe I've just been sitting here too long. Um, <clears throat> Lorraine. Stallings, and she is Rag to Stitches USA, and I got on her about not making a YouTube, so I'm just expecting one anytime. Y'all, she is beautiful, not only on the outside, she is beautiful on the inside, absolutely beautiful. She won the Roller Frame from Roller Frame. They came and did a demonstration. She won it. Well, she doesn't, she stitches in hand. She gave me the roll of frame. I mean, even if she wouldn't, y'all, she was precious. But she gave me that. I bought a lap stand at Patches, a roll of frame lap stand at Patches and Stitches, but she gave me the actual frame. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, that's a little better. I feel like it just keeps going lower and lower and lower. But she made everybody one of these. It's crocheted or, I, yeah, isn't that pretty? It has her little card on it. Sweet, 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 sweet woman. And then Miss Kay's daughters, I told y'all story. They did not get those, uh, she brought those spools from home, but they did go to an estate sale and find these. And I'm, I don't, I'm not sure what they are. Nobody was, but we all bought some. So I'm going to use, um, I'll show you in a minute when I get to it, if, if, if I get to it. Y'all, I'm fixing to have an avalanche, I'm afraid. Um, this is our project bag that we got at the retreat that Miss Brenda Greer made everybody. So, we had the opportunity to um, submit recipes, and they made a recipe book for all those who submitted recipes, so I am excited. I have looked through mine, but I'm, so, I'm excited to make something out of it, and it's just a special memory. Here is some that I got off of the D, off the free table. Santa season. And I got man into a credit card. Twisted threads. It says, now, tell me again how you turn a man into a credit card. I just thought that was super ha-ha funny. And... Okay, y'all, we got all kind of stuff. There's candy in here. This is just people giving us 
just giving out stuff at the retreat. Where, oh, there it is. I was fixing to have a fit. Okay, let's see. Let's go from here. I saved this because I wanted to put it in my uh, book of days. This was the numbers that we drew to see what bag that we, what order we got to go for the bags. And somebody gave us this. It's a little needle minder, a little, what are they called? The little eyebrow, eyebrow brushes that they, you use to get the, I've never used one until the retreat and it really does work. And some candy. And then Miss Anna gave us all some emery boards. And then, Tammy gave everybody, and if y'all ever go to a retreat and Tammy offers you any of this candy, she says it's a party in your mouth. She is, ask Laura Banks. She is not telling you the truth. It is not a party in your mouth. It is terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Ugh. It wasn't a party in my mouth. And then I got to meet, um, Oh, boy. My mind just went as blank as blank can be. Oh, well. I, this is sad. I'm gonna put her name. <laughs> I shouldn't even tell this. I know her dog's name. It's Coco. <laughs> she gave us all one of these. She has a floss tube. I just watched her. It was either yesterday or Saturday. <sighs> anyway. Um, and somebody else gave us little counting pens. Lord, she sat right behind me. That's going to drive me nuts. It's Lorraine. I'm trying to think who sat at that table. Lorraine and Brenda. I'm just going to have to cheat. Just going to have to cheat in my little stitchy book. There's Lorraine. Dina, Dina, good Lord, Dina, half stitch, cross stitch. See, I know her dog, Coco, sorry, Dina, I'm so sorry, so sorry. And you even sh shouted, shouted us out or shouted me out on false tube. Now I feel like I'm about that big and I'm sorry. I deserve every bit of it. I deserve it for being ugly about Tammy. <sighs> I'm so sorry, but... She loves that dog. <sighs> but um, Arlene gave us all these. Aren't those beautiful? Beautiful. And when I say all, I mean all 52, three. I, I, don't, I don't even know how many were there. 50 something. And Anna gave us all these. And I had actually ordered a pair of these. I have a different color. Of course, I can't see where mine's at right now, but these are really good little snips. They're very sharp. They came from that quarter shop. And these are the little bags of beads that Holly Ho was handing out. So I got more beads. And then um, I want to say that Miss Carol got these because Bob and Pam made them. It says sunflower, mm, excuse me, Sunflower and Bees Retreat, July the 20th through the 22nd, 2023. So, and then, oh, uh, let me see. Candace 
sat at our table and she gave us all one of these. Look how pretty that is. Little bees. And then somebody oh, gave us all one of these little, I guess, paper mache boxes. And the reason I, I which you know, y'all know me, I probably wouldn't remember it anyway. But a lot of times you would just come in in the morning, and all these goodies would be at your table, and you don't really know who gave it to you. So as a blanket, just thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you. And somebody gave us a little wooden ornament. And we got some peppermint, some pens, markers, a little calculator. We just got all kind of goodies. And then um, my husband, he wanted to know why my mascara brush was in my stitchy stuff. Tammy gave us all one of these. Oh. We got a counting pen and miss uh glenda sat at our table and she gave us all at the table one of these and y'all we had the best little time with this sucker it sucks up your orts and it really works like it gets the dust or the stuff off your table isn't that cute as pie Um, Tammy also gave us, um, it says started project, finished project, and it's Indiana Anchor Plans. They're on Etsy. And we got a pencil. B, you're the B's knees. And then we got that. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, we just got all kind of goodies that a little bee i mean a little sunflower charm and there is a 2023 sunflower and bees sticker and then charlotte burkhart gave us all some floss tags and these this thread bed some floss tags isn't that sweet? Let me see what this says. It says project tags for floss. Add project name to tag and put with your project floss. Easy way to keep your floss with the right project. Well, how neat. Neat, neat, neat. But we got all that. This was also in our stitchy bag from North Alabama Stitchers. A notebook that says Sunflower and Bees Huntsville. And then we got um, a thread, a binder ring, and some sunflower charms, and a pen. This says Sunflower and Bees Huntsville, Alabama, and the date. That was in everybody's bag. Okay, guys. I'm narrowing it down, narrowing it down. And sweet Tammy gave me this bag. It's by Painted Leaf Co. So pretty. I love the colors. You can't go wrong with Christy with anything that's pink. And she gave me this bag and this chart. And the chart is Joy by Shepherd's Bush, and you stitch it on this bag. And she gave me some stickers, a book of stickers. She gave me some more stickers in this envelope. She spoiled me. And she gave me this magnetic little tin and some thread so thank you miss teeny okay this is the bag i was looking for 
uh, Brenda. I bought this from Brenda. Isn't that pretty? It says, be grateful. And then I also, Audrey had a booth. I know these came from Audrey. I know I got these from her. Had a little thing set up. Aren't those cute? So pretty. All the bling. But now the needle minders, I don't know who, who is what. I'm just going to show y'all this because I just can't. Look at all the needle minders. Don't worry, I got some more boards coming. Yeah, I do. And Miss Kay, this was on this was what she gave her table mates. It is a Blackbird design box that she bought on the secondary market. That Blackbird designs, I'm I'm thinking I'm telling it right. They gave these to shops when they bought fabric and miss k gave us all one of these and it has a teresa kogut card in there it says lifting the spirits of others will do the same for you compliment others put their insecurities to rest remind them they are worthy of love and respect and then some floss cards and a charm and then some more little charms and a little picker and some tomato strawberries and some floss just all kind of goodies in this little box i can't wait to get my box put back there on the shelf and i'm always gonna think about miss k every time i look at it and then miss k had a little private sale in her room and i've told y'all from the get-go that I love Miss K. Met her two years ago at the retreat, and I just love her and Miss Marianne. And we terribly, terribly missed Miss Marianne this year. She wasn't able to come. But Miss K had her own little sale in her room, and she used to that her her bags and Brenda's bags were the only bags I had. And um she is not going to make bags anymore so what she had there was the last ones that she has made that she will make so i felt obligated to have me some miss k bags and i don't care what anybody says i wouldn't have cared if alan would have come up there and said you're not i did look how pretty that is it just means something to me because it's miss k Look at that one. She's got two of the sweetest, sweetest daughters. Oh, I loved this one. It's got books on it. And maps. Isn't that pretty? All oh, these are Miss K bags. That has a little bag inside it. That's the last one. Aren't they pretty? Well, she also had charts for sale. She's downsizing. I got Little House Needleworks, Little, Sarah, I'm sorry, Sarah Street Faithfulness. I got Little House Needle Works, Blessed is the Life. I 
I got fracture sampler barrack samplers. It's the first in the series. Then I got Stacy Nash, my stitchy book. And it comes with the finishing, I guess, rick rack, cording, ribbon, whatever you want to call it. I got Holiday Hoopla, 4th of July by With Thy Needle and Thread. I hope y'all can see that because I can't see around it. And I got Merry Merry Pin Keep by Stacy Nash. And it's got all of the three, all of the DMCs with it. And then I got um, the book number 20, St. Nicholas of the Prairie Schoolers. I got Paradise Lost by Plum Street Samplers. I was trying to see if it said. It doesn't. Oh, that's a lot of colors. Christy, what was you thinking? Jeez. Lost. I got Autumn Garden by Samplers Not Forgotten. And then I got Red Work Heart Samplers by Helga Mandel Designs. Gosh, my nose is itching. Does that not make? No, never mind. Somebody's talking about me. Somebody's coming over. What does that mean? Mama used to always say, if you ever said your babe was itching, she would say, somebody wants a date with you. What does that mean when your nose is itching? I got that one. And then I got um, Stitcher's Prayer Barrick Samplers. Kathy Barrick. Okay, y'all. We're almost finished. We're almost to the end. We went to Patches and Stitches on Friday. Me and some lady. And there was a lady at the retreat. I don't think what her name was. I can't remember right now. She had a picture that she had took, I guess, off of the TV. Had took a picture of it. And it was of a chart, part of a chart, but she couldn't remember what floss tube it was on or what chart it was, and she wanted to do it. So I posted a picture on Instagram, and almost immediately somebody answered that it was Tapestry of, Ch of Stitches by Jeanette Douglas. So she went and bought it, or she went to Patches and Stitches and bought it, and I went the next day and bought it. But isn't that beautiful? Good gravy, that's pretty. Mm, mm, mm. And then I am missing one stinking chart. And I know it's here. But where is it? That's going to drive me nuts because Holly Ho bought me a chart at Patches and Stitches and gave it to me. I'm going to find it and I'm going to show it to y'all the next time. But I wanted to tell Holly thank you so much. And now I can't find it. But it's over here in some of this hoopla, I know. But I also bought a Jeanette Douglas and it's Matter and Hand. At Patches and Stitches. And I bought me a little pink pin keep with some little beads. And about all of my thread for um, that matter in hand chart. And I bought a piece of fabric and it is vintage, vintage country mocha 28 count. And Holly found this, and I was already getting ready to check out. Maybe I was in line checking out, and I left. She found this back there in the quilt shop part. And if we both thought it would be so pretty for finishing like a back of a pillow. Each little square 
says something different. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. So we got, me and Holly got one of those. And I got some little bling bags. That is gonna drive me nuts. Holly, I promise I didn't lose it. I just can't find it right now. Look how cute. The bling come in a little bag. But I think that's it. <laughs> so next video, I do have a couple of things that should be here. But I'm not starting tomorrow. I can't buy anything for the whole month of August. My husband keeps telling me if I want to go to Maine to Missy and Kathy's retreat, the library teacher's retreat in April, I'm going to have to save some money. So I'm going to start with no by August since I missed the whole no by July. I'm going to start in August. And I'm still going to get my monthly subscriptions to stuff. <clears throat> but all this extra stuff, I I'm not buying it. But I feel... I feel pretty confident, you know, and, and, and confident that um, I got enough stuff to keep me busy for the month of August. Probably just putting this up will keep me busy for the month of August. But I'm glad that y'all spent time with me today. And if you would, shoot up a prayer for Ilbert that she is better and back to herself very soon. Um... It's been a rough few weeks for her. It's been a rough few weeks for me because she's had a rough few weeks. But if you would please shoot up a prayer for her. Remember Greta and her family in your prayers. You know, they lost their mom. And um, just thank y'all for spending y'all's time with me. And I hope that with Ilbert not being here, that you still got a little bit of a chuckle. And I'm gonna go upstairs and spend a little time with my honey and I will try to be back, hopefully with Ilbert, in a week or so. So, y'all have a good evening. <laughs>